Hello. To create your NetACAD or NetSpace sign-in that you will use each time you access NetSpace, you will need to go to the NetSpace website to begin with. You'll get there by typing in netacad.com. That is N-E-T-A-C-A-D dot C-O-M and hit enter. If this is your first time logging in to NetSpace, you will need to create a login and redeem your seat token. The seat token will allow you to enter the correct course. So the first thing you will need to do is right here, you're going to click Redeem Seat Token. As a new user, you will select I am new to NetSpace. You will complete this by entering your first name, your last name, and your student email address. Then you will fill in the seat token. In Blackboard, there is a document for you to retrieve your seat token from. Make sure that you get the seat token that is associated with your name. The seat token is case sensitive, so we will key that in. And then you will click Submit. If you get the error that your request failed, double check your seat token and make sure that you keyed it correctly. You see that your request completed successfully. Once you see your request completed successfully, you will need to log into your student email. From there, you will receive an email that has your student username and password for NetAcad. The email will look similar to this. It will have your name, it will have your username, and your password. You'll follow the instructions here. It simply says click here to upgrade to Cisco Network ACAD if you've already been an existing user, or you can click here to enter your information. As long as you still have the Cisco NetAcad screen up, you can simply click Home. Key in the screen name that they've given you. And type in your password. It is case sensitive, so pay attention to what you key in. And then simply click Sign In. Once you've done this, you're going to come up with uh, the service agreement. You'll go through here. You'll select your region. You're in the United States. You're going to pick your birthday. And yes, it's important to put the correct one in. That way when you need to come back later, if you have any issues, you can remember what you put in. Next, it's going to ask you to change your password. It must include one lowercase, one uppercase, and a number. And they have to be at least eight characters in length. Once you've keyed it in, you'll key it in a second time. Click Save. Now it's going to come up to your user profile. You'll fill in all this information. Make sure it's correct. Make sure you cor select the correct time zone. We are in Eastern. Continue through here. Make sure you've selected everything that you need to select. Anything that's required has an asterisk. 
You do have to include your gender. You can prefer not to say. Select male or female. You can select how you want to be notified. You need to answer some of these other questions just so that it's happy and continues on. This is also where you'll come later if you want to change your password again. Then I'm going to click Save. And it says here that I didn't select my state. So I'm going to have to come back here and select my state. And the city. Oop, I don't want to change my language. You have to find the closest city. I guess Bessemer City is going to be our closest city. You should be able to scroll through here and get more than just through the bees. There we go. It's starting to like us now. I'm going to come through here and find the city that I'm closest to. We're in Shelby. Select it and save. You'll notice that now it says welcome to NetSpace and we are now in a course. The course that I enrolled in was the Net125 Intro to Networks. Once you're successfully here, you have created your login.